this is fire. Fire right here. One, two, and three. The Taper starts today. That's right, three weeks to go. Actually, 20 days, less than three weeks to go till the Pikes Peak Marathon, which means just a little extra time, okay? Time to start tapering down the volume, tapering down the vertical gain, adding more intensity, which puts a, a couple more hours into my week, which means time to update do more on globalrunning.com, just a little bit more. Stay tuned, everybody, over on the website. Oh man, it's coming along. Oh, thank you for submitting your beautiful photos, uh, tagging DGR photos over on Discord. Oh man, it's starting to look good, starting to look good. Patience with website design and running. As the taper begins, going out, for an easy 10 milers, all right, on my, oh man, well, I'll talk about that later on my original 10 mile loop. It's quickly, quickly coming to an end in the Saucony Triumph 19s. There they are. We're going to 50 miles. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but sure enough, I think we'll be at like 47 after today in the Saucony Triumph 19, so stay tuned for the 50 mile. In fact, if you wanna see uh, the entire Saucony lineup that I've tested thus far in 2021, upper right hand corner for the Saucony running shoe playlist. It's also over on the website, uh, but the taper begins today. I am uh, updating Strava right now. This is always fun. It just, it's just, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of early mornings, a lot of turning that doorknob when it's dark, dark, dark out. It's so nice to just not have to zip up to the mountains. I will go up to the mountains tomorrow, but the volume, as I already mentioned, is coming down. Vertical gain is coming down. So this week, three weeks out, let me just update real quick here. Three weeks out from the Pikes Peak uh, Marathon is 95, okay? So I'm gonna edit my weekly. It's just like, it feels so good. And it's not 90, it's not 100, 95 very precise I'll explain more about that soon why it's 95 so uh, 95 miles to go for the week starting on Monday all right Strava Strava all right taken out in silence socks as well thank you for sending these along I haven't worn this pair yet kind of their th more thin summer version from in silence all right oh I love a <laughs> I love a good taper if the work has been put in. If the work has not been put in, it's like, it's like, oh, it makes the taper not even, frankly, almost worth it. Like mentally, I know I've worked really hard. So it's like, you, this is your reward to yourself. You get to freshen up. Remember, fit, fresh, and healthy at the starting line. All right, time to work on that second one, fresh. get these boxes situated <laughs> we're packing boxes we're unboxing boxes oh my mom okay don't drop this 
on the computer. Okay, everybody. It's a new week, at least when I'm filming. It's Monday, here we go. Rock and roll time. Let me just, oh. <laughs> soon enough, soon enough, we're gonna be in our new location. So we are in packing mode, 100%, big, big, big time. Uh, it's, it's here, it's this week. We are moving this week, it's unbelievable. Before we do that, we wanna, I wanna, I don't wanna have to pack these boxes to the new house. So we're gonna unbox these. I am gonna save one of these boxes for a live stream. So if you missed the live stream, upper right hand corner, I'll also do my best to link to it down below in the description. And we'll probably talk a little bit about tapering as well for a peak race in that live stream, okay? So again, down below, if you missed the live stream, and I was gonna mention one other, that's what it was. Have you noticed that we are doing some double publishing now on the channel? I realize this channel talks about training, racing, life, FKTs, all sorts of different topics within the Olympics, within the running world. But I also am fully aware that many of you are subscribed to the channel because of the running shoe reviews. Lots and lots of running shoe reviews. Therefore, I would recommend if you haven't done it already, if you really wanna make sure you do not miss a single running shoe review publishing, we are now doing double publishing every Monday, meaning we're publishing at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. 5 a.m and 5 p.m. every single Monday. So just down below, there's a little bell, okay? Click on that bell and you'll have the option to be notified via email and I think a couple other ways as well uh, for when we publish a new video on the channel. I don't want you to be missing running shoe reviews. As you can tell, there's lots of reviews coming down the pike. So just wanted to mention that. Turn on notifications if you are especially interested in running shoe reviews. Okay, here we, I don't even know where to begin. Let's, uh, let's dive in, let's just go from the top. Okay, you know, the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 18 in a black colorway. There it is, Brooks Adrenaline G, oh, sorry, sorry, 21, Adrenaline 21. This is a uh, stability shoe. Okay, it's got guide rails there on the side. I'm always perplexed when I receive a jet black running shoe colorway, but hey, it is what it is. There you go. As you can tell, all right, just from the outside there, this is from Solomon. Let's see, okay, ready? One, two, and three. There's a note inside. Uh, good luck at Pikes Peak Marathon. Enjoy the journey. Happy trails. Thanks for all you do. Stay inspiring, Mike. Um, <laughs> there, listen, there's a lot of different... <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and explain it. It'll make the vlog too long. Thank you, Solomon, for sending the pulsars okay moving on next here okay this is a very interesting box okay one two and three look at that okay this is my second pair of running shoes from this company from kenya huh the lapa tech okay uh enda is the name of the company e-n-d-a i will Link to their website below in the description, okay? Just to give them a little, a little more exposure. Um, it says Harambe on the bottom, which I forget what that means. I'll try and put it on the screen right now, Harambe. Uh, but it's a company out of Kenya. They started in Kenya. And I do believe when I was asked uh, if I'd like to receive this shoe, I said yes, 100%, that they said they updated the upper to be more nimble. Last year's version was a little, um, not, not very breathable, kind of a thick upper. Uh, this one I can already tell has improved in a good, good direction. And I'm guess, I think this is their, I think this is the Lapatet. I do believe if I'm saying that correct, um, hold on, yes, the L-A-P-A-T-E-T, -E if this is, their daily trainer. I believe it is, all right? So there you go, and uh, let's see, it's proudly made in Kenya. So it's like straight out of Kenya. And it's, you know, uh, supporting like the Kenyan economy. I just love it, I love it. So Enda, there you go. I'll again, link to them down below. Okay, moving on here. Okay, we got two more boxes. Oh my, or sorry, three more boxes. What could this be? Bum, 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 bum. Oh mama, I recognize that box. Okay, here we go. Woo, Sakani in the house. What's it gonna be? One, two, three. This is the... 
Ah, Omni. Okay, the Omni from Saucony. All right, I believe this is their, yes, stability shoe. If you are an Omni fan, let us know down below in the description and what you think of the lineup. Here we go. Ah, okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh-oh. Hoka in the house. Come on now. Ooh, this is fire. Fire right here. One, two, and three. The Rin Con 3. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is so lightweight. I don't even know what to tell you. Oh, my, my. The Hoka Rin Con 3 in for testing. Who's been waiting for this shoe to show up at the studio? Oh, my goodness. There's the outsole on the bottom. That's exciting. Uh, the Rincon one, you know, one of my favorite daily trainers from two years ago. Uh, the Rincon two was a small update to the upper. So I'll be interested to see what they changed for the three. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Hoka. And again, um, this will be opened in the live stream. Sound good? Okay, here we go. Comment of the day. This is yesterday when we, I asked the question, who has been a role model for your career, in your career, okay? So shout out to Canada uh, and David. All right, thank you, David, for the comment of the day. He says, my mom uh, is my role model. But interestingly enough, not for the reasons you'd think, my mother was a 40-year bank employee, CIBC. It was very common for the bank to move people around the country of Canada in order for them to advance in their careers. My mother always made it clear that her family was priority number one. David, I love that, and that she wanted them to stay grounded. And in one place, 40 years, she never moved to her location, and CIBC created different roles to suit her. They molded around her and not the other way around. Now I am 17 years into my career in banking and following the same mold, putting my family first, staying in the same location. Love, David. David, I love that story. I love that your mom is your role model in your career. I did not expect that for uh, an answer to the question of the day yesterday. Thank you, David, for taking the time to type that out. Question of the day. Um, how different was your life one year ago? Okay. Isn't it? It's amazing. Like one year actually is not that much time. 365 days, right? Uh, am I, is that right? Yeah, 365 days. I, but it, like for us, we're moving. We were not thinking about moving a year ago. I tell you that much. We thought we were going to stay here forever in this location. But life changes, right? That's life, as Frank Sinatra sing, sings. So um, how, has your, how different was your life one year ago? And oh my goodness, not to mention, you know, the pandemic and oh my goodness life was a lot different a year ago so we're making progress we're pushing forward into 2021 testing running shoes out for all of you onward and upward thanks for tuning in thanks for watching we're going to close it out because we're packing and uh, don't well, don't you worry we'll bring you along the journey of moving as well this week oh my my all right we will toss it to um another you know we'll toss let me just think here we'll talk you know we'll toss it to the vlog from a year ago. Let's, I will do, so August, what is it, 2nd, 2020, whatever, I have no clue what vlog that would be. August 2nd, 2020, right there, right there, right there. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.